Join me as I dive into the wild world of human biology to find out exactly what happens inside your body during sexual arousal. Sexual arousal is a complex and intriguing topic that's often shrouded in mystery. But today, we're going to explore the physiological responses that occur in our bodies when we get turned on. From hormones to blood flow, we'll delve into the fascinating world of sexual arousal and uncover the secrets that lie beneath the surface. One common misconception about sexual arousal is that it's just a primal urge that can't be controlled. But the truth is, our brains play a huge role in sexual arousal, and understanding how they work can be the key to improving our sexual health and intimacy. Another misconception is that sexual arousal is only about physical pleasure, but as we'll see later, it's closely tied to our emotions and emotional well-being. Some people think that sexual arousal is only about the act itself, but it's actually a complex process that involves multiple stages and physiological responses. And finally, some people believe that sexual arousal is the same for men and women. But, as we'll explore later, there are some key differences that are important to understand. Getting a clear understanding of sexual arousal is crucial for our sexual health and intimacy. When we understand what's happening in our bodies, we can better communicate with our partners, overcome sexual dysfunctions, and even improve our overall well-being. So, let's dive deeper into the world of sexual arousal and explore the amazing things that happen inside our bodies when we get turned on. The stages of sexual arousal are complex and involve multiple physiological responses. The first stage is excitement, where our hearts start racing, our breathing quickens, and our blood flow increases. This is followed by the plateau phase, where our bodies prepare for orgasm, and finally, the orgasm itself, where our bodies release all the built-up tension. But what's happening underneath the surface? Hormones like dopamine and serotonin play a crucial role in sexual arousal, regulating our pleasure and excitement levels. Blood flow changes also occur, with more blood flowing to our genital areas, causing them to swell and become more sensitive. But how do these stages differ between men and women? In men, the physical responses are more pronounced with erections and increased muscle tension. In women, the responses are more subtle with increased lubrication and swelling of the clitoris. Despite these differences, the underlying physiological responses are similar with hormones and blood flow changes playing a crucial role in both men and women. So, what's happening in our brains during sexual arousal? It turns out that our brains are closely tied to our emotional and physical experiences. The release of dopamine and serotonin triggers a feeling of pleasure and excitement, while the emotional centers of our brains, like the amygdala, process our emotions and attach meaning to our experiences. This is why sexual arousal is so closely tied to our emotional well-being and why it's so important to prioritize intimacy and emotional connection in our relationships. In summary, sexual arousal is a complex process that involves multiple stages and physiological responses. From hormones to blood flow changes, our bodies undergo a series of transformations that culminate in the ultimate release of orgasm. By understanding these processes, we can improve our sexual health intimacy, and overall well-being. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the wild world of human biology. If you have any thoughts or experiences you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more about sexual health, be sure to check out our next video on the importance of communication in relationships.